God, what have you been writing there, George? Uh, I actually just typed in, I am a big old lesbian. <laughs> Right, okay. Um, <coughs> oh, that's not even like day. a joke. I don't know why I typed that. <laughs> Terrible. Right. <coughs> Hi, Max and George. Oh. oh, I've already read this and I'm pissed off. Anyway, I was at the live show and just want to say that George is even more unreal in real life and Max is a proper fitty. Okay, I'll accept that last bit then. I'll accept it. <laughs> I did put my hand up to ask for some advice, but it was ignored. So this is my <laughs> next resort. Sorry, love. Um, <laughs> My issue, I have many, but this is one that I need more advice on, please and thanks, is that I'm still sleeping with my ex-boyfriend. Yawn. Yawn. Who isn't, love? Come on. Um, <laughs> but I am still talking to other people and meeting them. Yes, I'm sleeping with other people. Okay. He said he's fine with it, but I really don't think he is. I'm going traveling at the end of the year, so don't want to get back into a relationship unless it's with George. Shut the fuck up. Um, but I like having him around. What shall I do? P.S. I want to marry George. Anyway, um, I think that that is boring. And the, I'm so sorry if anybody else writes into this podcast saying, I really don't know what to do. I just like, I, I've started speaking to my ex-boyfriend again. I will personally ram your ex-boyfriend up George's ass, I and that will be and ram your ex-boyfriend. <laughs> that will be do horrible it. for everyone involved. <clears throat> I guess this one has a twist because it's it's talking about traveling and stuff, and we can maybe you know delve into that. So fair enough to this person, fair mm. enough. But I get voice. I go through the voice notes. Okay, George goes through the written ones. You can probably tell by the fact that all the written ones start with George Clark is so fit. Anyway. Um, I go through the audios. And How many it, weeks in a row are you going to... Unlimited. The, the limit does not that, exist. That is the... O- that, 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 that also op- complimented you. No, it didn't. But that, yes, it did. I need one that only compliments me. You and, have and for the past like, four you. weeks. I need ones that personally victimize you. They and do. They have me. been. No, nope, more. You're, you're I need so, more. You're so We deluded. ride at dawn. <laughs> you're so deluded. You've not been <laughs> listening to the whole... Oh, Max is a proper fee, and the other one, and all of them, all of them. Even the last one that was on the voice notes was that. Fine. <clears throat> anyway, moving on. <laughs> I think that it's a tricky one. So, actually, it's not tricky at all. I just told a lie. You want to go traveling and see the world. I'm guessing <clears throat> with the fact that you have got back with your ex-boyfriend, that you may be from a small town because. If you're in London, what? I'm just throwing it out there. Maybe you live in a small town and you don't have many options. What? What's I'm, I'm just, what, what an assumption that I'm is. making an assumption. Um, and so you have not experienced life yet, my darling. You're about to go and see the literal world where you will meet more people, more interesting people than your boyfriend could ever, ever admire or, I'm, That's I'm, her boyfriend you're speaking about. Yeah, well, he can go and fuck himself. Uh, well, she's doing it. As soon as she finishes, he can go and fuck himself. Okay. I think that you need to grow up what and realize... What the fuck is this advice? I'm angry. Grow up and realize that there's more to life than your dirty little ex-boyfriend. I it's guarantee... her current boyfriend. She's got back with her ex-boyfriend, is she not? Is that not what was said? Oh, I've ripped it up. No, no, no. She's sleeping with her ex-boyfriend. Oh. She's not got back with him. But she said she's starting to get feelings again. Yeah. But she's also just sleeping with other people. Just go traveling see how you feel go when, traveling when you're not and with him. And then, you know, it's just... Yeah. Yeah. Literally, go bloody traveling, love. And um, shag about there. Don't keep shagging about in Darwin or wherever you live. All right? It's not worth it. Trust me. I've done it. I genuinely think I slept with every gay man in Darwin. Hand on heart. Hand on cock. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and it didn't make me feel better about myself. I then went to see the world, and now I'm in love. So, <laughs> who's the real winner here? Me. Um, yeah, any advice? Um, <clears throat> don't force yourself to come to a decision immediately. No, do like, it if you, if you don't, If you don't know what... You what you're gonna how you're gonna feel? Wait until you do know how you're gonna feel. Just be just be open and honest with them and say, look, I don't know what's gonna happen when I'm traveling. Look, we're we're clearly just getting back together, but I'm gonna go traveling, see how I feel about you there, and you can see how you feel about me while I'm going traveling. And if we're both in the same boat when we get back, we want to see each other again. Sweet, we'll do that. If not, 
We won't. Nah, fuck that. Don't even tell him that you're going traveling. Book that flight to Zimbabwe and piss him right off. I'm going to go out on a whim and say I don't think she's traveling around Zimbabwe. You never know. You never know. I've heard people do it and they loved it. Right. That's my advice. Um, I can hear the phone ringing. Mean. That's mental. I, I can know. also hear that what dash the bell. There we go. Now then, guys, so oh. I've got a bit of a dilemma, really. It's not really a dilemma, it's more of just a general thought, right? So, me and my girlfriend, we've been dating for about two, three months now. Um, and we've already moved in together. Now, a lot of my mates are saying this is too soon, but we're really happy, we're really enjoying it. Just want to know what your guys' opinion on it would be. Cheers, geezers, have a good day. George, you're a Donny. Max, you're pretty cool. In a bazoo! <coughs> right, that's... Big up the straight man, Jen. <laughs> I'm a Donny. Woo! Oh, I can't do that. How'd you do that? Like that. Oh, I can't Sorry. do it. Right, watch what I can do, though. Watch what I can... Oh, okay. Watch what I can do. I can dislocate this finger and waggle it around, but... What? That's just not what's happened. It's waggling. No, but it's not dislocated. It is. It's not because I know you. What do you mean you know and me? And if you had any form of pain, you'd be on the floor. No, right it now doesn't hurt. Andrew. It doesn't hurt. You will not. Dis you haven't dislocated your finger. I have. Look at it wobbling. You haven't dislocated. I've got wonky fingers. Yeah, that's disgusting, but it's not dislocated. I don't think it's disgusting. Do you know? I had to go to hospital for months Was it for every the week. Face thing. Watch yourself. Every week for months to have different hand specialists work out what was wrong with my fingers and they had university students come and sit in the did sessions they, did they come to the conclusion that you just bent <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore I don't want to be the reason why every time I walk out the door I'm going to cry um <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not okay. Anyway, um, they said that if they couldn't work out what it was, then I could name the syndrome. But they worked out what it was. And I'm sad. Woo! Yeah. Right. Maybe not. What was the advice um, that they wanted? Uh, they've moved in <laughs> after three months. They're happy. But um, I'm a Donny and you're all right. <laughs> right, okay. Um, wow, well, moved in after three months. I <clears> mean, <throat> that is very lesbian. What? <laughs> That's a very lesbian thing to do. <laughs> what? It is. What are you talking about? That's what, like, all my lesbian friends, when they meet somebody, they, like, move in with them within, like, three months. Oh, okay. Our advice is you're not in a straight relationship. You're actually a lesbian. Have you considered the fact that you could be a lesbian? I know that he was a straight man. <laughs> what but... are you talking about? Hmm... That's not a lesbian thing to it do. It is. Ask lesbians. Lesbians. Oh, a lesbian thing to do is another woman. Well, of course. But they what they do with that other woman is move into the same household. Lesbians, comment down below. You know that that's right. And you will also... Oh, my gosh. Lesbians are wild. They're, first of all, the nicest people in the world. Oh, I've seen the videos. Oh, God. They're the nicest people in the world. Because think about it. They don't have... Um, they're not going to be like horrible to women like most straight men are. Not including you in this, actually. You're yeah, I'm a Donny. Halfway decent. Um, and they're not going to be <clears throat> awful and disgusting like most gay men are. They're just two lovely women that, like, find love and, like, have beautiful children. Intelligent children, mostly. I love lesbians. I wish I could be, but I can't because I'm, I'm a gay man. Um, but, yeah. Love lesbians. Big up lesbians out there, honestly. Well, um, how the fuck has this become a conversation about it's lesbians? So, it's a very lesbian thing to do, is to move in with someone after <clears throat> two or three months. Is that not a very just couple thing to do? No. To move in with each other? No. Uh, uh. Mm -mm -mm. How, would you, would you, if you were dating someone for two or three months, would you move in with them? No. Absolutely not. Would I? Absolutely not. Would lesbians? That's ask, not ask the lesbians. <laughs> not we are a panel of 100 lesbians. What they would do if they were dating someone for two to three months, and every single one of them said, "Move in together." They will also have such long distance relationships, and like make it work. 
They're just great people. These are such sweeping statements. But I just think that, I mean, maybe it is. I'm sure it is. I'm sure that there's some horrible lesbians out there. Obviously they are. I'm sure there's some awful ones It's not one of the criteria of being a lesbian is, number one, to like a woman, (laughs) and number two, to want to move in in the next three months and also have a long-term, long-distance relationship. You would be surprised. But I just, I just pick up lesbians. I think that lesbians should rule the world. And um, are you trying to like fight some allegations that you don't like lesbians? Or I love lesbians. Well, My sister's lesbian. I spoke about this with her the other week. I think that's why I'm, I'm talking about it. I love lesbians. <laughs> this is really weird. <laughs> this is not I had something I had on my 2023 <laughs> bingo card. Think about it. Right, we don't Max have to confess his love for lesbians. But lesbians, comment down below and let me know. Let you know what? If I'm Let right. you know what? If I'm right. About about how like they're in um like great relationships and that they live together after two or three months. I know that that is true. <laughs> I think it's a stereotype. It's Obviously just, it's a we've stereotype. just heard a straight couple do it. It's not a lesbian thing to do, is it? I think that he might be a lesbian. I think he might be. Anyway, moving on. But let's um, be honest, you have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> true. Anyway, um, Interesting. <laughs> what? Moving in together, I don't think I could do that. Not after three months. You don't know anybody that well. I mean, me and Andrew moved well, in how, together. How much have you, if you've been on Love Island? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> then you've, and you've just spent the last three months living with each other, basically in the first place. Then, I mean, even then. You're but not... what's the success rate of Love Island couples that come out and live with each other right away? Pretty much zero. So, I don't um, think. Uh, Tommy. Oh yeah, I guess so. But even then, is that a happy relationship? Uh, I don't yeah. know. On Instagram, yeah. Have but what about seen, personal life? What's her name? Bambi? Is her name Bambi? Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. Was, looks pretty happy. I'm sure it's a happy baby, yeah. yeah. But is the relationship happy? I don't know. I'm not in it. I'm not in it, personally. And they're not so. a lesbian couple. They're not, so it's probably quite bad. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, um, I met Molly May All right. once, and she was lovely. She okay. was very nice. All right. Never met Tommy. All right. Don't know if he well, seems nice. Okay, well, what's the relevance here? I want to fight Liam Payne. What? In a boxing match. Liam, if you're watching, Liam's I would watching. do. Okay. Liam, if your friend's watching, tell Liam, I want to fight Liam Payne in an influencer boxing match. Got easy lines that you can spit out in the press conference like I'm going to inflict pain on you. Well, he'd be doing I'm going to show you the true the meaning of pain. If you know what I mean. Have you seen the videos of him where he looks absolutely off his tits bless him <laughs> like actually like he's doing an interview and he's like <laughs> and i'm like oh god he's having a good There's, time there was that one where he went into different accents yes throughout. at the oscars uh, um will smith he was like and jada you know you know she was she was over there and she was like oh, <laughs> 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 oh it's so funny anyway back to the task at hand oh yeah three months i mean um i mean if you if you feel like it's correct yeah, do it we like, can't decide yeah like cause some people they literally it is a fairy tale they meet the first day they're like i just will marry you it's just yeah. a matter of time and then um, other people it, it takes time but evidently yeah. you might be in the former and there's no wrong or right no there's no scripture to life there's not that's the bible 